addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions addition of monomials what are algebraic expressions an algebraic expression has a combination of constants and variables so we can say that a combination of constants and variables connected by plus minus multiplication and division is called an algebraic expression what are like terms like terms are those that have the exact same variables with the exact same indices p raised to 2 and 3p raised to 2 2m raised to 3 and 12m raised to 3 a raised to 2b and 5ba raised to 2 xyz raised to 2 and xz raised to 2y m raised to 5n and 7 m raised to 5n 10 p raised to 5 and 9 p raised to 5 all these are like terms what are unlike terms unlike terms are those where the variables do not exactly match c raised to 2 and 2 a raised to 2 m raised to 3 and m raised to 5 6 a raised to 3 b and b raised to 2 a raised to 3 x y z raised to 2 and x y z m raised to 5 n raised to 3 and 7 m raised to 3 n raised to 5 10 p raised to 5 and 9 p raised to 2 all these are unlike terms are these terms like or unlike 16 p raised to 2 and 20 p raised to 2 like terms 5 c raised to 2 4 ab and 9 d raised to 2 unlike terms 5 z raised to 2 y z raised to 2 y like terms 7 m raised to 5 n raised to 3 and minus 9 n raised to 3 m raised to 5 like terms minus 5 ab raised to 2 c 5 abc raised to 2 unlike terms how do we classify algebraic expressions we classify the algebraic expressions based on the number of terms that it contains algebraic expressions if they have one term they are called monomial if they have two terms they are called binomial if they have three terms they are called trinomial expressions with more than three terms are called polynomials count the terms and say what type of expression it is 2x plus 2y how many terms are there two so it is a binomial 12x raised to 2 plus 4xy plus 10z raised to 2y how many terms are there three so it is a trinomial minus 30a how many terms are there one so it is a monomial 5 mn minus 8 lm plus 3 n minus 6 ln how many terms are there more than 3 so it is a polynomial let us now understand how to add monomials a monomial is an algebraic expression with just one term so we have to add two expressions with just one term in each the terms can be like terms or unlike terms addition of like terms let us learn the addition of like terms let us add these terms 2x and 5x are these like terms 
Yes. 2x is equal to x plus x. 5x is equal to x plus x plus x plus x plus x. Now, to add 2x and 5x, we have to add x plus x and x plus x plus x plus x plus x. So, 2x plus 5x is equal to 7x. We have one more way to add like terms. What are the terms 2x and 5x? As the variable part is same in both the terms, we just add the coefficients of both the terms. Coefficient of 2x is 2 and coefficient of 5x is 5. So, 2x plus 5x is equal to 2 plus 5. And after this, we just have to attach the variable part to the sum. So, the answer is 7x. You can do this for like terms only. Let us try one more example. How will you add 3ab and 5ab? Are these like terms? Yes. 3ab is equal to ab plus ab plus ab. 5ab is equal to ab plus ab plus ab plus ab plus ab. Now, let's add 3ab and 5ab. 3ab plus 5ab is equal to ab plus 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 ab which is equal to 8ab and that is the answer. We have one more way to add like terms. What are the terms 3ab and 5ab? As the variable part is same in both the terms, we just add the coefficients of both the terms. Coefficient of 3ab is 3 and the coefficient of 5ab is 5. So, 3ab plus 5ab is equal to 3 plus 5. And after this, we just have to attach the variable part to the sum. So, the answer is 8ab. So, the steps that we usually follow for addition of algebraic terms are, first check if the terms that we are going to add are like terms. If yes, then only can we actually add. So, if the terms are like terms, then 1. Add the coefficients. 2. Attach the variable to the added coefficient. These steps are really easy. But, remember that checking for the like terms should be the first step. After that, you can proceed with these two steps. Let's try some more examples of addition of monomials with like terms. 12p plus into bracket minus 8p. Are these like terms? Yes. So, that is equal to 12 minus 8. As the terms are like, we just add the coefficients and we then attach the variable. So, that is equal to 4p minus 10 abc plus into bracket minus 3 abc. Are these like terms? Yes. So, that is equal to into smaller bracket minus 10 plus into smaller bracket minus 3. As the terms are like, we just add the coefficients and then we attach the variable which is abc. So, the answer is minus 13, ABC. Minus 6XYZ raised to 2 plus 5XYZ raised to 2. Are these like terms? Yes. So, that is equal to minus 6 plus 5. As the terms are like, we will just add the coefficients. And then we will attach the variable. So, the answer is minus 1XYZ raised to 2. Now we have seen how to add two like terms. If we have more than two like terms, how do we add them? We can arrange the terms vertically. Let us understand vertical arrangement of the terms. Add these algebraic expressions. 
minus 3a, 5a and minus 8a. Let's arrange the terms vertically. Minus 3a plus 5a plus minus 8a. You can see that the terms are like terms. So we will just add up the coefficients. What are the coefficients? Minus 3, 5 and minus 8. So that is equal to 2 plus minus 8 which is equal to minus 6. And then we attach the variable to the answer. So the answer is minus 6a. This is the final answer. Add these algebraic expressions. 11b, 6b and minus 2b. Let's arrange the terms vertically. So 11b plus 6b plus minus 2b. As the terms are like terms, we will just add up all the coefficients. That is 11 plus 6 plus minus 2, which is equal to 17 plus minus 2, which is equal to 15. And then we attach the variable to the answer, which is 15b. And that is the final answer. Steps to add like terms. Check if the terms are like terms. If yes, then add the coefficients. Attach the variable to the added coefficient. So we have only added like terms together. But sometimes there are unlike terms. How do we add unlike terms? If you have to add 4a and 3b, what do you do? 4a plus 3b is equal to? Let us find out. We have to find 4a plus 3b. First check if they are like terms. Are the term like terms? No. So, can we add the coefficients? No. So, we just write the terms as they are. Therefore, 4a plus 3b is equal to 4a plus 3b. We cannot really add up and get an answer when we have unlike terms. Add these terms. Minus 10abc and minus 3ab. Are the terms like terms? No. Can we add the coefficients? No. So we just write the terms with a plus sign like this. So therefore, minus 10abc plus minus 3ab. The minus sign is common. So we rearrange. That is equal to minus 10abc minus 3ab. Add these terms. 4abc, 8ab and minus 7abc. Are the terms like terms? Some are. Which are the like terms? 4abc and minus 7abc. Which are the unlike terms? 8ab. We handle like terms differently and unlike terms differently. Let's start. Step 1. Group like terms together first. So, 4abc plus 8ab plus minus 7abc. Like terms are 4abc plus minus 7abc and plus 8ab which is equal to into bracket 4abc minus 7abc plus 8ab. Step 2. Add up the like terms which is equal to minus 3abc. Step 3. Add the unlike term to the sum plus 8ab. That's the answer. Add these terms, 13a raised to 2, minus 8b, minus 9a raised to 2, 5b. Which are the like terms? 13a raised to 2 and minus 9a raised to 2 and minus 8b and 5b. 13a raised to 2 plus minus 8b plus minus 9a raised to 2 plus 5b. Step 1. Group like terms together first, which is equal to 13a raised to 2 plus minus 9a raised to 2 plus minus 8b plus 5b, which is equal to 13a raised to 2 minus 9a raised to 2 plus minus 8b plus 5b. Step 2. Add up 
the like terms which is equal to 4a raised to 2 minus 3b. That's the answer. So, will you be able to add monomials now? Oh yeah!